we lost it. I want to take our little fellow and I want to change the way that these scenes are trying. Let's, let's start to add a little bit of juice to the scene transition because right now I run through the door immediately everything is loaded, right? We, we want something better. I want something better than that. What I want to do is a little bit of a fade out, okay? I'm just going to, I'm going to reveal my, I'm going to reveal my cards to you right now. Look, see, it's a royal flush. Not a royal flush, it's like a stroke, not even a stretch, it's like a four of a kind, not even a four of a kind. But anyway, so all I want to do is I want, I want that to fade. I want to fade out, load the level, fade back in, okay? So it's going to revolve a little more things than you might think. Okay, so first uh, we have a color rect for the background, and I want to I want to rename that to to a background. I just want to go ahead and rename that. And additionally, if I run the game, you will notice that when we load the level, we're loading the level node into the root. You can see that utils is where they're all, where um, Godot is auto loading uh, some uh, auto loaded stuff that we had set up earlier. What I want to do is load the level inside the game node. And, and that, the reason why is, well, anyway, I just, I want to do that. So what I want to do, it's really not going to be that difficult right here when we say get level node. Instead of getting the root here, we can get rid of that. And we can just turn root into self. Because we're going to load that level uh, node, or that level node into us, which where this script is at the top of the game node, so we're going to load the level into the game node, which is exactly what we want to do. And then we'll just change that here, uh, and then we'll change that here. Oop, oh, bleep, 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 bleep. Self, self, oh goodness, let's run it and make sure that I didn't. See, there we go. So now the game is loaded into, or the level is loaded into the game node. And we can play and do all that kind of stuff like we could before. And it all just works happy and wonderful and everything like that. So, uh, look at that. I misspelled scene. Anyway, so there we go. We have that taken care of. Now, what do we need? Well, we need another, um, we need another one of these color wrecks. Uh, it, what, we'll, what we want is something to cover the whole screen. So, let's get another color wreck and we'll... We'll call it fader, and I'm gonna grab it, and we'll just make it the size of this whole screen. I'm gonna turn it, for now, I'm gonna turn it black. Now, if I run this, you would think that, okay, now that'll cover the screen and it'll all be good. But no, it doesn't. You can see that the, the background is black, which means we're seeing that fader, which is over the top of the background, but it's not over the top of our level. So we need to fix that. Now, uh, there's another thing that we need to do, and that is these color wrecks, uh, as far as I know, you can't set their Z, the Z position on them. But what you can do is you can add another node like this. I'm going to call this a container. And you can stick uh, one of these little fellers in there, and then you can set the containers, the index. And I happen to know that also... The player, if you look back, we, we have set the player's Z index to 1. So we're going to need uh, to do this anyway, regardless of whether we actually put it in the container. So what we're, we're going to do is we're going to make that Z index on that container a 10 so that uh, when things are loaded, it'll all be good. See there? And that container, and then additionally, the way this works, since we're doing it with a container, we're setting that Z index, uh, if if we had that if we had this fader out out here, then that would be uh, the the order of the children inside of this node would be dependent on whether this fader went over the top or not. Because if I did it like this, so basically the container is doing nothing. You see the levels loaded last and therefore displays on the top. Well, we don't want that, and so a, a, you know a nice way to do that is just to stick this in a container, give it a a higher Z value than anything else you're going to have in your game, and boom, you got it, okay? So I'm going to change this back to back. I'm going to change the opacity, or the alpha channel, to zero, and then I'm going to just go, in, go ahead and go in here and say, hey, I want you to, I want you to pass uh, the mouse flags, just, just in case we ever want that, okay? So the other thing we're going to need, and you know, you could add an animation to this thing and then just play the animations. 
That's fine. You can do that. But what I want to do instead is I want to add a tween node to our little dealio here. And that way we can set up a tween. We can set up a tween right chat. So, not ha. Yeah. So, in order to start a tween, we just say tween dot. We want to animate. No, we want to. What is it? It's interpolate. Interpolate property. And that property, we want to grab. What we want to grab is the visibility. We want to grab the modulate. We really want the alpha channel. Now, there's a way to do that. And I'll show you what that is. We'll interpolate the property, and that property is going to be dollar sign container slash fader. Actually, I'm sorry, that's the object. Property is going to be modulate. That's the modulate property. Additionally, we want another piece. We want a piece of that property, and that's going to be. We can indicate that with a colon colon alpha. We want the alpha channel. That's what we want. And actually, just think about what we're doing here. I want to go ahead and pull this out. And let's make that its own little variable because we're going to use it right here. So now what we want to do is specify the start value. Well, the start value is just going to be whatever it is. It's going to be whatever it is. The starting value is. And we will, what we want it to go to is a full one or, you know, from zero to one float. That's what we want. And I think right here is probably a good time just in you know, if you want to change it, we can do um see if I remember how to do this, right? We can we need like a a way to that we can change this in the editor. Yeah, so that'll come out in the editor, and then here uh we can put our fade time right there. And additionally, I have done some of this fading stuff before. So what I want, what kind of tween I want is like a cubic tween. So I want a cubic tween for this. And then additionally, we can specify another property. And that is, do I want to ease in or I want to ease out? Well, here for the, for the, for the fade out, I want to ease out. So we're going to ease out a little bit. Just kind of ease on out there. Bit of easing, you know. Nobody ever hurt nobody, just easing. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And then... To make the tween go, you just tell it, hey, buddy, start. And we want to wait for it to, to get done. And that is easy enough to do because we can do a yield. We'll yield on that tween. And we will yield on, we could do tween all completed, but we're, already, we're only doing one tween. So we're just going to yield on the tween. So that's going to fade that feller out it's going to increase that value let's let's test it let's see see what it does and it didn't it didn't do it did it it didn't do it so what we need to do is we need to figure out what happened we got f dot modulate a and we got one for the uh the opacity we got fade time oh is our fade time is it no, it's half. Half. And our color, let's make sure our color is, oh, look at that. That color is not right, friends. It needs to be, oh, no, it's right. It's right. Okay. Yeah. It's correct. Oh, you know what happened? I think I know. Silly me. The color... Should be all the way up here in this. The modulate property is what we're animating, and that should be this. That's what we're tweening. We're not tweening the color. <laughs> Although you could tween the color. This now will work. Chapow. Okay, we're just not fading back in, which is what we need to do. But we can pretty much just copy this. We load the level. Then we fade it back in. And so that means we want to go to zero, and then I want to go in. Wait for that tween to complete. Let's see if that works. 
Yep, it works. But if you notice, I can continue to move whenever this all starts. So, what we want to do is we want to get three. We want to pause it. But we're going to have to do a couple more things in order to get all this to work. So, just hold on to your horses and all that kind of stuff. Now, uh, one of the things I think we're going to need to do is in the game node, the pause. We want to say that we always want to process. I think that will allow everything to work correctly. Let's try it and see what happens. Well, I mean, it kind of does, but here's the pro. Oh, oh, that's a problem. Uh, yeah, we want... I think we want to set I think we want to set the level level node dot pause mode to pause mode stop and may, it may be that we just we need to go in there and just set it to stop here let's see what happens here real take it yes and then it starts okay so what we can do since we're using a base level for that we can come up here load that base level click on that and we can say pause mode I want you to stop we don't want it to inherit because the game is always going to be going we want it to stop whenever things are paused this is turning out much old muchos better boom pause and then and we're gonna have to unpause here which we have not we have not done I guess uh yeah right here we we false it we false pulls that and what we could do is when it's fading in, we could un we could unpause. Let's let's leave it like this. I kinda like this. For now. And then whenever it whenever it gets done loading, it unpauses. That's much better. I think that we'll stop the video, the video here, and we will come back to this and maybe we'll try to have some sort of really cute or neaty old little animation of some sort. Uh, whenever before the fade out occurs we may break this out and refactor it so with that it's been fun it's been enjoyable and until next time we'll see you later